At the Royal Mint in London, machines are already at work to make coins bearing the Queen's head. Repeated rolling thins out the sheet metal before it is passed into a machine which punches out discs of the correct size and weight. The design for the new coins is the work of 71-year-old Mrs. Mary Gillick. She spent six months designing the head of the Queen and gives credit to the Duke of Edinburgh for many suggestions that she has incorporated in her work. Following tradition, the Queen's head faces to the right, the opposite to King George VI. At the mint, the designs are reduced by an intricate machine to a die of the size of the actual coin. To impress the heads and tails onto the blank discs, the finished dies are fixed into a press. Then, with a pressure of many tons, the coins are struck. A collar around the die gives the coin its milled edge. After close inspection, the coins are passed through a counting machine and are carefully weighed in bulk. Special bags are then filled with a new coinage and carefully sealed with the seal of the Royal Mint. Now the new coins, each bearing the head of Her Majesty and the date 1953, are stored until the banks begin distribution early in coronation year.